Hey everybody, it's Deborah from Mouse Tales Travel and I am just getting into my room here at Secrets Akamel. Sorry about the backlight there. Um, this is, I'm in building seven. Um, so this is a standard double with a garden view. And um, we're gonna go in here and I'll give you a little room tour. So, you know, uh, here's the um, entryway. I'm gonna shut this. And Welcome to Secrets Akamel, and this is a, like I said, a standard garden view double. And you can see, like, like for example, this is probably the cheapest room category at Secrets Akamel, because, well, I'm not very, you know, it's just me right now. Um, I could have also gotten a king here, and I originally was supposed to travel with someone else, and um, so that's why I have two beds. But you can see we have beautiful... Um, pictures here a lovely acquainted room here um, and then they have nice wood furniture here um, I'm going to show you a few things a few features first and foremost uh, these are the room lights but also here is a do not disturb button I'm going to open up the double closet here because there's a couple features in the double closet that I want to point out so let me open that up and you'll see my luggage in here because I literally just walked in the room and I haven't unpacked yet. So we have the, the typical terry cloth robes in here. Don't they look lovely? Secret Akamel. We have a couple um, laundry bag, iron. There we got some pillows, a blanket, in-room safe. This is the cool part. This is one of the secrets of Secrets Akamel. This is for room service. And so going to open it up and it's just a little cubby that they can deliver room service and then when you're done with your dishes you just put them into this cubby and shut it back up and they'll then they don't have to knock on the door or disturb you and one of the inclusive things is 24-hour room service so we have a very big closet here ironing board in there if you can see it all right I'm going to shut this and okay so I apologize for like the I don't have my um, my gimbal on, so it's going to be a little shaky. So this is obviously the bathroom area, and we have um, towels. There is this is a bottle opener because there's beer in the fridge. I'll show you that in a second. Now you can hear their speakers in here. There's speakers right up here for the TV, so I could actually go to this knob here and and listen to the TV while I'm in the jacuzzi tub. You got a makeup mirror, place for toiletries there, a little set in place. Here's their spa amenities. So uh, we have su sunscreen. You're kidding me. It's only SPF 15, but still, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So I have sunscreen over here. We have body lotion, conditioner, shampoo. Here's hand sanitizer. Um, and then I have shower gel and, of course, hand soap. And even, get this, look at this, an incense burner. How about that? How about that? Now, um, there is a standing, I'm going to turn some lights on. So here's the shower area, a little seating area for your shower with a raindrop um, shower head on it. And then, of course, we have a separate seating area for the office there. Um... There is a phone in here, not that you really would need to make a phone call while you're in here, but well, nice little picture on the wall. The thing that impresses me, but also um, there's a little seating area. Look at this jacuzzi tub for two. Um, it is not very private though. That's my big concern here is that there are pocket doors here, but really, okay, so here's one of the pocket doors. Um, so yeah, there's pro pocket doors there, but there's only a curtain <laughs> between the bedroom and the jacuzzi tub. So, I mean, the curtain, it looks relatively non-see-through, but still, if you were staying in here for like a, with friends or with a girlfriend or, or family members, it's still not very private. I'm not going to lie. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm like, ah, okay, but it's still, you get still, Standard room, jacuzzi tub. All right. 
coffee maker, bottled water. I'm gonna lift this up here and we got very nicely appointed coffee cups, like legitimate coffee cups, people. Um, and legitimate glasses. That's really nice. Let me see what kind of coffee they got. Oh, so we got some uh, Nespresso types of coffee here and creamer and sugar in there. And then um, drawers, there's three drawers here. Here is the mini bar, or the mini fridge. And you'll see we have um, some orange juice, water, cold water, um, Corona, Coca-Cola, is it Coke Zero, Sprite. Uh, ooh, that looks interesting. The pineapple Cristal, which I will probably drink because I, I want that right now. A little desk area. You can see I also have a nice seating area. Like, look at this cute little couch here. And um, a chair over here. There's also a phone here. Apparently phone calls to the U.S. are included with the room. So if I wanted to call home, it's included. This is dining information. So it tells me, you know, um, what I can get for in-room dining. Um, I'll, you know, that's all inclusive. So 24 hours of in-room dining, dining if I want it. And um, if I want to set up a romantic dinner, here's the schedule for the bars. So um, I can't wait to go out and try some of that. There's the spa menu. There's um, a, a couple extra daily entertainment. So this is included in your room. I will go out and I do have a balcony and like I said, I have a garden view. So I don't have an ocean view. Um, I am completely fine with that because like I said, I'm, I basically picked like the cheapest thing I could find. We got a screen in. So there's the screen. We have a seating area out here and another seating area right there, a little inviting little couch. And my view is actually of one of the pools. So that's one of one of three pools. If you look down here, there must be some swim up um, some swim up suites below me. So that's their little swim up area. That's really nice. Oh, if I could only afford a swim up um, patio, that'd be great. A swim up suite. Maybe next time I'll save up for that. Goals, you know, goals. So here is again the view of the room from the patio. And, I, and again, this is something that um, I wanted to try. I'm very excited about it um, for, uh, because this is, it did take me an hour to get here today, uh, but I, I'm excited about the sea turtle thing. I'm excited that this is a smaller resort. Um, let me see what's over here. looks like we have a clock radio and a, another phone and, um, one thing I want to double check before I even let it go is uh, want to see, we have plenty of plugins. I do not see any USB. Um, that's a concern. Maybe, uh, you know, it would be great to have, like, make sure when you're bringing your, your phones and electronics that you bring um, something to charge them with, that you bring the, the plugin, the two-prong plugin. And um, otherwise, you might be you might be in trouble because it doesn't look like there's any. I haven't found them yet. Um, there are no USBs here. So, oh, there's two here. See that? Okay, I was mistaken. There they are. So there are two USBs in that thing. Um, so if you need more than that, you might want to plan. If there's like four of you sleeping in this room, the beds are uh, or doubles. They're not queen. Um, but still, you know, this is one of the, you know, with all inclusive sometimes, especially exec, like, uh, adults only and secrets, Akamela's adults only, you, um, typically don't have the option of having two double beds from what I can tell. So it's, this is a nice place to have a girlfriend's getaway weekend or something to that effect. Anyway. If you want to know more about this resort, I'm going to obviously explore it for the next couple days. So I'm going to have a lot more um, stuff going on. 
but feel free to ask me any questions. Again, uh, this is Deborah with Mouse Tales Travel, and um, I hope you enjoy this really fast video. I mean fast, it's 10 minutes. Holy smoke, I, I talk a lot. Anyway, I will be posting this also on, on uh, my YouTube channel.